Hey guys, Chip here, and it's been a while since I've been this darn excited about a product. And in fact, I was so excited I actually contacted this developer, V. Jasislav T, and I'm sure I'm murdering that that name, but it's a product called Simply Concept, and I don't think his videos do it justice as to what he's come up with. And I certainly understand exactly how this works and how he could do it, but he's built a great workflow around this concept. And if you can think about it, think about it as metaballs with regular geometry. It's just fantastic. And it's a great way to start off modeling. So let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So this is a very simple product. It's a faucet. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to model this thing using Simply Concept. So let's get started. Okay, here we are in Blender. And this is the product that we're trying to create right there. So let me turn some of this off and we're going to go into our orthographic projection and shift A. And I'm going to basically add some objects. So I'll take and add a cylinder. And I think the more resolution is the better. It seems that way to me at least. So I'll go in here and I'll rotate this. I'll move it up to here, something like this. And let's just scale it in like this. Okay, so that's this plate right there. Then I'll shift D, duplicate it, scale it down some. And that's this is going to be the stem coming out of the wall. Now, I'm going to go ahead and assume that we're going to fill it this. I mean, we can always, we could have just, eat, this is easy to just keep this as a separate piece. But this will kind of show you how it works a little better, I think, if I do this. So let's move this out, something like this. And then with this selected, I'll go into Object, Snap, cursor to selected. So now I put the cursor here. So when I add this icosphere and set it to something high and scale it down, you know, we're actually putting it right in the right spot. So here we go. So I'll move it here and I'll go something like that. I'll take this again and I'm going to shift D and Y, move it out here and scale it up. And let's move it in. Let's take a look at this a little better. Let's move it in here. So when we scale this up, I want it to be just about almost exactly the same width as this icosphere. Then I'll hit R and then hold the control key down and up top left. I'm going to see that minus 45 and I'll move this over here so that we're pretty much where we want to be for this piece. And if I want, I can go into local here and I can stretch this if I want and make it a little longer. Then I'll take this object again and I'm going to shift D it and stretch it out. And I think I'll make them just a little bit narrower. And then R again, 45 and G will pull him down something like about there. And then shift D him up here. And that's going to be our little handle. As you can see, we have this little handle. And I'm making things just a little bit longer so I can come back in and clean them up if I need to. And with that done, now we're ready to use Simply Concept It. So, and, and the reason why I do it this way and not the way that they showed in the video is so that I have full control over all of these elements as I use them. I'll select my base plate right here and I'll hit the Simply Concept button. And as you can see now, this was been moved and changed its name into the start mesh. And then I can click this next object and say add to concept. And you can see now that's part of it. Then I'll grab that sphere, add to concept. Grab this top area, add to concept. Now one of the things that I do have to say is that I need to actually control A and say uh, rotation and scale, set those. And then when I do that, you'll see that things start to move a little better. So I need to make sure that that's done. So I think we've got this, we're going to add that to concept and this and add that to concept. So here we have our object. It's a little crude, so we can fix that by adding some smoothing, some more smoothing to it. So let's add something like uh, 10. Here we have that's a little better. And then I can make the voxel size just a little bit smaller, like 0.01. That'll, that'll tighten us up a little bit. And you know, that's kind of it. That's pretty, it's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and jump into KitOps and we will add a brushed chrome. Let's see, there's chrome. Oops, I had to put it on here. There we go. So you can see there's our there's our object. Now, of course, once this is done, we're going to go back into Simply Concept and say finish the concept with it selected. And that basically applies it. It removes everything else. You probably want to save like I did beforehand. And then it's pretty simple to do stuff like uh, take this 
Shift D, and then select this, Command minus. So now we have, you know, we have basically this. Uh, we want to probably select it. We'll auto smooth it, make sure we're auto smoothing it. Then we'll go and say Shift A, Mesh. Let's do a cube and let's go to wireframe and we're going to scale this S to scale. R to 40, uh, hold the control key down. We want to get 45. There it is. G, let's move it over here. So look, that's somewhere down in here. Again, hold the shift key down, control minus, and there, there's our, there's our faucet. Uh, if I want to clean this off, I can take this and say shift D, move it over here, open it up a little bit, pull this down a little bit like this, control minus and then say Shift-D, grab that over here. Move this and say Shift-D, let's grab this one too down here, put one down here. So with this, I'm gonna just move it down a little bit on top of here. And this is what I was talking about earlier where I said I was gonna clean it up. This and this, Control minus, so we'll get rid of that. And then this, G, Control minus. And there we have, now I just need to apply all to these modifiers and I'm gonna tab into here and so you can see I've got this and I can basically just go E extrude out just a little bit and scale it in scale and we have that nice kind of a bevel area right there this will do the same E scale okay and then here we just want to make this Insert, insert it just a little bit like that, and then E back into it so that we have, you know, that. and I think that that's pretty good. That shows you how easy it was to make that, and that's a, not an easy model to make. And it created it very quickly and with a lot of ease. So I hope you enjoy this. I was very excited about this. I've been a big fan of metal ball modeling for years, and Blender really never had a good metal ball modeler. But now with this, there's a lot of interesting opportunities. So I'm really, really excited about what we can do with uh, this new tool. So thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.